Hi everyone, this is Tony from Sax Studios, and I've got a video tutorial here on kind of a fun project. A lot of people like to do this. It's uh, it involves taking a picture and turning it into a drawing or a sketch. Now there are filters that'll help you do this in Photoshop, but really they look kind of fake and cheesy. They don't turn out very well. I have a really great method here that I'm going to show you how to do it now and the results are just phenomenal so we're gonna start out with this young model here uh, which we've used in previous videos and we're just gonna jump right in so we have our background layer and like any tutorial I will you know show you you always wanna go ahead and control J and duplicate that layer You always wanna duplicate it so now we have a duplicate now let's go ahead and desaturate that layer by holding control shift U. Alright, now we've desaturated that layer. Let's go ahead and make one more copy with control J. Alright, so we've got our two layers that are desaturated. So let's go ahead and click on our top layer. And let's go ahead and change the blending mode to color dodge. Now that makes it look kind of blown out and strange, but it'll make a whole lot of sense in a little bit. Now we're going to hold Control and press I. That's going to invert the selection. Now we really have nothing on the screen, and that's awfully strange, but stick with me because it's going to get interesting. Now that we've done that, we're going to go up to Filter, Blur, and we're going to choose Gaussian Blur and you can already kinda of start to tell where we're going with this because it already looks pretty amazing so now depending on your photo that you use you may have to adjust the values if you bring it all the way down and start coming back up it gives you kinda of more of a pencil sketch kinda of look and that's okay but if you go a little higher you get a nice looking shiny graphite blending that makes it really look like it was drawn but we're not done with it yet let's go ahead and hit OK alright now what we're gonna do is go ahead and with our top layer selected let's go down here to our adjustment layers and let's go to levels and let's go ahead and take the midtone, the gamma level and let's just brighten it up just a little bit uh, that looks pretty good alright so we've already got a nice looking picture and it looks like it was drawn but we have some blown out areas that are a little too white and I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now so let's go ahead and select our layer just under our levels layer and we're gonna make sure we choose a brush that is an airbrush so I'm gonna choose airbrush soft round if you don't see it in your list click over here and go through your brush list until you find the one you're looking for and like I said we want an airbrush we're gonna set the opacity to about 12 percent and again you might want to change these values a little bit we'll go 13 percent it's close enough flow we're gonna set all the way up to 100 percent now since we've got this layer here as color dodge if we use black on this it's going to help darken areas that we want that are blown out now, alternatively if we switch to white it's going to lighten dark areas but right now we want the black selected because we want to really darken some of these areas so go ahead and bring up your brush size to however you you like it I'm going to use about 400 here because this is a pretty high res image and I'm just gonna start I'm just gonna go over some of these areas here and you're gonna start to see some of the detail come back into the picture now okay. we're just gonna lightly go over some of these areas that got blown out okay. even even the face around the lips the nose around the eyes looks good we'll go around here, around the arms, yeah, under the neck area, right? All right. 
So we don't have to do a whole lot to that. Um, and I, well, something I wanted to show you is, uh, and I did this on purpose, if you go over and you darken an area you didn't want, as I mentioned before, we go back and switch to white, and we'll just go ahead and get rid of that, just like that. So if you didn't want that much, that much black, you just pull it right back out. No problem. All right, so that is looking amazing, but we're still not done yet. So at this point, we need to add some sharpening to really make it pop. So let's just go up here to image. Now let's choose duplicate. Now let's choose duplicate merged layers only. And what this is going to do is it's going to flatten the image, but make another copy of it flattened. So see, we still we have our new flattened image, but we also have our original image over here, which is just fine. So let's go over to our copy that made that we made that's flattened. We're going to go up to filter, sharpen. We're going to go to unmask or unsharpen mask. Excuse me. Now some of these settings you're going to want to play with depending on your picture. As you can see, you can really do some amazing things here so we're going to choose a radius of about 8 8.1 the threshold it depends on how blown out you want it how pixelated you want it let's go with about 142 and the amount generally you want it to be kind of high so that let's go ahead and let's go ahead and try say 201 that looks pretty good there let's go ahead and choose OK and at this point you're all set you have an awesome looking image that looks like it has been sketched and like I said before you know with different pictures they're going to turn out different but make sure you play with the levels play with the adjustments to get it the way you like it. I hope this has been really helpful for you and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments. If you like what we do rate, subscribe and thank you for joining me. This is Tony from Psych Studios and take care.